Um, I mean, I guess just to start, I know you've been managing this. You, you told us in game three, if you can't move, you can't move, but there's not much you can do. So just yeah. what was the last few days like to, to get you at this point where you could give it a go today? Uh, I mean, it's just around the clock treatment pretty much. Um, I did it um, last game of the season against Orlando. I kind of strained it a little bit. And then that whole week leading up to game one, I hadn't I didn't practice pretty much the whole week. I was out literally until Saturday. So I think Saturday was the first day that I did stuff like um, with the team on the floor, just moving up and down. So, um, you know, I was I was nervous about it until Saturday and I finally felt good. And, um, you know, we kind of got it under control for game one, game two, and uh, most of game three. And then uh, into regulation in game, game three, I think it was, tried to steal a ball and and just did it all over again, pretty much. So it was back to back to square one with that. So I guess, like, how, I mean, how did it go today? And for you to feel good, like you weren't going to put yourself in danger uh, uh, of something more serious. I mean, I, I did the same thing, like I said, just a bunch of treatment. Um, you know, I went from the boot to crutches for a little bit to keep so much weight off of it, um, keep some stress off of it. And treatment, 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 you know, just pretty much around the clock. And um, I came in this morning um, at like 9.30, we came to the arena. And um, I tried to get on the court yesterday and didn't feel didn't feel good. But, um, you know, I just, I don't think I would have slept well and I don't think I would have, you know, went into the summer feeling good about, about much if I didn't, if I felt like I, let the team let the team you know go out there and and me not at least try so um we came in this morning i did a workout you know like 45 minutes on the court this morning just to to move around and just to see like if i what happens if i jump off my right foot and shoot step backs and pull up jumpers and stuff and uh, it was a little tender but i felt like i could manage it you know um went back to the hotel did some more treatment and um you know i pretty much was in there all the way up until it was time to get on the bus and uh, you know it was like, all right, let's let's see how I feel when I do my pregame. And um, I did my pregame shooting, and I think just being in the building, seeing all the the t-shirts um, on the chairs, I started moving around a little bit, and I was just like, you know, fuck it, I'm a I'm a play. Let's let's just do it. You know, this is it. Um, it's no guarantees that we gonna make it back home, and I, you know, I want to be out there. So that was it. Obviously, this is the end of your first season in Milwaukee. Um, uh, just, uh, I guess, uh, how do you feel like this season ended up going for you? Obviously, I, I know it doesn't end the way that you want it to, yeah. but just can you take us through kind of what this season has been like for you? Uh, it was, I think it was a, it was a roller coaster <laughs> of a year. Um, but I think for me personally, it was a, a year of growth more than anything. Um, my first time being a part of a different organization than the Trailblazers, you know, after 11 years, um, picking up my my life and, you know, being away from my family and away from my kids, <clears throat> you know, being traded so late into the summer, um, playing for multiple coaches, trying to uh, find myself um, within, you know, a, a new dynamic, you know, a new team, a new organization, playing with um, another superstar player, um, another great player in, in K mid. Um, so just trying to find my space within that with everything else happening all at the same time. I think it just, um, it was a lot for me to, to fight through, you know, but I, I take a lot of pride in um, standing tall, you know, when things don't go as planned or go how I would like them to go. Um, and I, I always want to look back and, and be able to tell myself that as a man, like, you know, when I, when I didn't play well, um, when things didn't go how I might have expected it to go, when I was going through some things, whatever, you know, whether people knew about it or not, um, I stood tall in it. You know, I never made an excuse or nothing like that. And um, it was a, a long year of that for me. Um, just a, a lot of growth, you know, a lot of uh, getting used to new things. And that was pretty much it. Um, obviously, we went, we went through a year of it. Um, you know how this ends. You guys lose in the first round. All of a yeah. sudden, Dame is unhappy or whatever yeah. it may be. I'm, I'm curious, how excited are you for a second year in Milwaukee and then also like a, a real true offseason that, that you didn't get last year? Um, I'm extremely excited. You know, I think um, 
when things don't go as planned, like I said before, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I don't say a lot. So sometimes when people, you know, make a read, you know, our Dame, look, he doesn't look happy. You know, I don't think I've ever run around on the court smiling. You know, my disposition is, has always been that way. But I think, um, you know, people are going, they're going to look at everything and try to make something of everything. Um, it's been it's been some some hard times, you know. I haven't I haven't denied that one time this year, you know. Um, basketball and personally, you know, it's been some hard times, but it's never been a um, a issue with Milwaukee. You know, I get the opportunity to to play with Giannis. Um, I'm playing with veteran players. You know, I know that the the only thing we we plan for is the opportunity to to win the championship, and that's why I, I you know made decision the decision to be a part of something like this but um I understand that the chatter and the gossip and all of those things come with the territory I know that uh criticism comes with being on a team with high expectations and um for me I now that the season has come to an end I'm looking at it and um I'm excited that you know me having a season that I had you know I was almost 25 points a game seven assists we almost won 50 games, given everything else. Um, and people just, you know, had a whole lot to say. And I, you know, when I look at my performance, I know that I could have done a lot of things better. And I know that I'm going to have a full season of knowing who the coach I'm going to be playing for, um, having a better idea of um, the guys that I'm going to be playing with. Um, being in Milwaukee, you know, I've kind of settled into things here. so. Having a regular off season and being able to actually, you know, train and be able to do live stuff. Last year I couldn't do certain things because I couldn't get hurt because I knew I was going to get traded. So um, I think going into to next season, um, people will be they'll be really surprised that you know how much of an impact all of these things actually did have um, when they see me when they see me come back. I know you guys can't control injuries, but just how disappointing was it uh, to not be able to play with Giannis on the floor in the playoffs after obviously that being the thing? It was it it's, it's very disappointing, but, um, you know, it's, it's part of the game. It happens. You know, I think that's one thing that you you can do as much training. You can do all the things that you want to do. You can't control when a random play might happen. You know, it can happen at any time. Uh and when you get to the playoffs, the more the more healthy team is going to win. You know, it's it's hard to reach the playoffs and be fully healthy for every team. But when you do, you know, it's a it's a blessing to be able to do that. Now you got a, a better opportunity, and we just weren't able to do that this season. We didn't. We kind of limped into the playoffs, and then had guys getting banged up during the series. Um, but that's that's fair you know that's that's part of the game you know there's no there's no excuse for us you know we didn't make it healthy other teams made it more healthy and we we got beat but um it's definitely disappointing because you know um how much better of a team we are when he's on the floor and how much things change when he's on the floor and you play an entire 82 game season you go through training camp you go through all the uh, ups and downs of a NBA regular season and you get to the point where all right now we're going to play for everything and you're not whole you know you don't have a, the best opportunity to to reach where you want to reach so it's it's frustrating it's disappointing but uh you know it's part of the game and then uh you mentioned just the coaching change but what kind of impact now did Doc have coming in mid-season and what um are you just excited about going forward to have him as coach uh, I think his uh, his experience and his voice, you know, I think he just has a, a way of reaching um, a team. You know, he's a, a leader of men. He's not afraid to to say what the truth is, you know, regardless of who might be offended by it or who the offender of what he's speaking on is. You know, it doesn't matter. And I think um, to be the best version of ourselves as a team, you know, having stars on your team and, and veterans and guys with the type of experience we have, you need somebody that's going to be willing to challenge them and deal with whatever comes back. And I think because of who he is, his experience, um, he's a, the person for that. And um, I'm excited to know, you know, the, who I'm going to be playing for, you know, knowing him as a person, um, being with him for half a season. Now I know what he expects. I know um, what his style is. Um, I know what he's going to expect of me. So, um, you know, I think it was it was a, a great couple months playing for him, you know, getting to know him a little bit closer. Um, 
and then going into the the off season, knowing that we're gonna you know we're gonna be in contact, and you know going forward, I know that we um, gonna try to get even more on the same page about what we want to accomplish. Um, maybe a, a, along those lines, are you someone who if you're walking out and you'll say like a, a what could have been you? The three of you only played six full games with Doc over three months. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, eight total, I think, Giannis and Chris both left. So just six. Yeah. So do you kind of look back like, or, or is it more of, are, are you someone who looks ahead and says, okay, that little bit we got together and shoot arounds or in those couple practices, show me where, where we can go. How, there's a little bit of both. I don't know. I mean, I think that's a pretty easy thing. You know, you look at it and say, man, we didn't get much time together, you know. Um, get more time together is, is probably a better product. Um, but for me, I just um, understand that sometimes that's just the way it goes, you know. Um, it might happen again. You just, you don't know that, you know. So injuries are a part of the game. Um, you never know what's, what's going to come up in the NBA season. Um, but I'm, to answer your question, I think I'm definitely more of a um, look forward kind of guy. But um, I don't ignore what what happened prior, you know. Um, I do think it's important for us to be able to be on the floor more together. Um, and we just weren't able to do that this season. Without you, without Giannis, Chris kind of carries the team through yeah. a couple games. Just uh, obviously this is your first year getting to know Chris as well. Yeah. Just what do you feel like you learned maybe about him that, that you didn't know before or, or anything like that? Uh, I always respected his game, you know, just as a player that wasn't a part of his organization. You know, I've been um, on a USA team with Chris in 2021. Um, the teams that I've played on, you know, when we talk about players, you know, people respect his game, and I always respected his game. Um, but I think just what I've learned that I didn't know is, you know, he's – been dealing with injuries all season long. You know, he's been banged up even toward the end of the season. And, um, you know, Giannis is out. Then I go out. You know, it was a perfect opportunity for – and I think he actually, like, rolled his ankle or hurt his knee again during that time. And there was a opportunity right there in front of him to just be like, man, I'm hurt. I can't I can't go, you know. And uh, not only did he play, you know, he, he rose, you know, and, and carried us even um, in game three, you know, when I kind of – came up hurt at the end of regulation. He hit two big shots to, to force overtime and then to, you know, keep the game going. But um, coming out game five, you know, the game he had, us being able to play through him and him being able to make tough shots, make plays, direct in traffic, um, I just think his presence, you know, um, was huge for our team in this series while we didn't play. And I think it just shows who he is, you know, and. You know, I, I already had a lot of respect for him, but I, I gained even more respect for him because I, I like to look at players and I wonder, you know, who's going to think how I think and who's going to be willing to, to go out how I would go out. And uh, I think when you see that as a, as a man, you just you respect it a little bit more, and I saw that from him, you know, in this series.